Hello everybody, I say everyone, I mean you three. If you're one of the people that actually come to the subscriptions of this channel, thank you and welcome. If you've come from the link from the IMAX Stu video, this is the Piano Blog channel, also thank you. What I did is I threw up a video on the IMAX Stu channel of explaining I've had another piano lesson. And I also put a link to this channel, or this video, so that I can talk about where I'm going with it, uh, because not many people see it over here and it's only I've only had two lessons now the lessons have been quite far apart really we got to grips me and David about doing this uh, did the first one and bearing in mind the first one I barely touched a piano or anything in my life so he was explaining the beginnings of songs and how they made the structures and what I'm interested in like I said in the first video few weeks went past, we kept trying to sort of rearrange I think we've decided that it's going to be Tuesday evenings that we're going to do it in future but, um, I had the second lesson, like I say, uh, what is it now, it's Thursday, yeah, so two days ago, so I did a little bit of video straight after, and then the day after, or just now, I did some more sort of tinkering on the piano. Now, at the very start of the piano uh, video footage, I'm, I'm trying to sort of coordinate both hands and do the basic bits that we went over, but then at the end of it, I just do this organ little tune with one hand that I always practice, just to try and get sort of dexterity in my fingers. So that's nothing to do with what I've learned. What I'm, what I'm starting to learn is the structure of songs and how they're put together. But what I'm struggling with is the basics of letting two hands do something that separate, well, together, but separate. And it, it's such, like like Dave was saying to me, you can I can type on a keyboard, I can do that. I can type without looking, it's no problem. Know where the keys are. I can, even though there's less keys on a piano, I know where the keys are roughly, you know, by feeling the sort of black keys and knowing where I am. But just coordinating, doing the simplest thing with one hand, whilst you're doing a relatively simple thing with the other, you know, at my level, my level being like, say this is like beginner, mine's right down there. I'm not going to show you down there because I've got no pants on. But I'm right at the start, and it's like when you start learning anything. It's like when you get a new job, you know, and you sort of, you feel useless because... Basically, you're costing them money just to sit there and try and learn something off someone else that no one's really got time to do with you. So I'm just at that sort of useless stage. And all I'm thinking of is if I do this for a year, if I, if I keep this up for a year. And I've always wanted to learn this kind of thing on my own at home. But I don't know if you have the same problem as me, but if you're not go, if there's no teacher, if you're not going to a club, it's like when you've got a gym, weights in your spare room or whatnot. You don't sort of... It's like, yeah, I won't bother tonight, but if you've got a teacher or a proper lesson that you've got to make time to go to, it's completely different. It's so much more interesting and you've got someone, and plus, because I'm going once a week now, I can't just do the lesson, do nothing, and then come back and go, oh, I haven't practiced. I've got to put the time in. So I'm finding it pretty interesting to uh, sort of, I've not done, as I said in my first sort of blog about the piano, so I've not done lesson stuff with something I'm not comfortable with, and other than Aikido, I am comfortable with, because that's fairly normal for me, but like lesson situation, learning something from the beginning, I haven't done that for such a long time, uh, and it's weird, because the older you get, the sort of, the worse you get at doing it, I think, but I still think the way that Dave's going about it, I'm going to pick it up, he's, he's, he's drumming it into me already, and he's obviously a very patient teacher at Portland me, because I'm just like, he's telling me all this, and I'm listening, it's going in, he's doing it, and I'm just like, robot fingers with no rhythm timing of coordination or anything uh, so you know I'm just gonna keep it up and uh, see how see how good I get that's the idea of doing these videos if I do do a little bit and sort of track it as I go along I'll see how well I'm improving so I mean to put a link to him below me anyway because if it's anything you're looking for if you're looking for lessons or music Piano, I think he'll do guitar as well to be honest, but it's just Piano teaching is his thing and if you, if you want to go, I'm thinking of telling my dad about it because my dad's got a keyboard and he Does what I it's like basic things that he knows but the coordination of the two hands. We just can't do it. So it's just I strongly recommend not just with this but with anything if you go to a proper lesson and get taught and do it properly It really pushes you on and it's it's why so many bedroom gyms just die for the same sort of reason, you get this thing or this item, this piano or whatever, keyboard, and you just think, 
I'll, yeah, give it a quick tinkle and put it away and it'll gather dust. So, weekly updates now, from now on. So, second lesson, getting stuck in there, really trying to practice, really want to break that sort of robot, I don't know what I'm doing. It's like when you're driving, you know, you can just change gear and steer and think, what's for tea? Instead of thinking, gear stick, steering, uh, and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's getting that basic muscle memory in there. Anyway, I witted on now, so I'm gonna go. Um, I'm using the back camera on the Samsung, so whether my head's out of shot or whatever, I don't know, I'm staring right into the square lens there. And uh, I don't know, yeah, I'm, I'm in the middle there, that's not too bad. Isn't that weird? You've probably seen this anyway, me wandering around. I did clean the flat before I started, a little bit. No, I didn't, I just moved a few things, because it is a bit of a tip. So hopefully this, uh, this non-HD image won't pick it all up. I'm going to go now, I'm going to press the button looking in the mirror. Bye bye!